Well, welcome to the 700 Club. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie. Scientists creating a new cell, a living cell, with computer-assembled DNA. But the story is all too real, and it could lead to great breakthroughs in fields like medicine or deadly bioweapons. Jennifer Wishon has the story. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. It's the kind of thing once only imagined in the movies. But now a team of scientists have produced a living cell powered by man-made DNA. One that we made by starting with the genetic code in the computer, uh, four bottles of chemicals, and building every one of the million plus base pairs in the right order and then finally having this uh, large molecule uh, inserting it in a recipient cell. The bacterium then transformed into a completely new species and reproduced billions of times. Venter, a well-known geneticist, says the project is the first step towards the ultimate goal of designing organisms that work differently from the way nature intended. They could be used to turn algae into fuel, manufacture vaccines, and clean up oil spills. But in the hands of bioterrorists, the discovery could have devastating effects, perhaps allowing them to create a deadly new virus. And what about greater ethical questions? Even the movies portray men trying to play God as lunatics. In the name of God, oh, I know what it feels like to be God. We don't know what will happen with these novel organisms or even novel speci species in the future once they're released into nature. So we don't know the effects on overall ecology or even on the health of man as we continue to move forward in this scientific developments. Just how sophisticated is the cell? Its DNA sequence is more than one million base pairs long. By comparison, the human genome is far larger, more than three billion base pairs long. Scientists still have a lot to learn before the discovery creates anything useful, but it has already changed the world of science forever. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News. Well, when you get past the headlines on this and get into the actual science, there's some really unique things going on here. But it, to, to make an analogy, it's kind of like a, a carpenter building a table and then not crediting the, the tree for the wood. Here, uh, that's exactly what's going on. They're assembling things based on existing DNA fragments uh, that have existed for millions of years. And so uh, to say somehow this is man-made synthetic DNA misses the point. Uh, but it is unique in that a computer put the strand together uh, from disparate sources in order, and then they inserted this into a cell which had no DNA and it activated and it became alive. Now that is brand new and that is a Frankenstein top type moment. To show you how complicated it is, the first time they did it didn't, didn't work. And you've got a million base pairs. They sent the computer to go find what was wrong. And they found one base pair out of alignment, one base pair that wasn't right in a million. And that's what caused the first trial to fail. They fixed that. And now it's alive. So it's, and on top of being alive, it's self-replicating. Uh, so that is something brand new. Uh, on some levels, it's very scary. On other levels, it means uh, we can actually engineer life. George Thomas has the rest of our top stories from the CBN Newsroom. George? Thank you, Gordon. The House and Se Senate have passed major financial reform measures that include new regulations for the housing market and Wall Street. The bills create new standards for mortgages, but they don't fix Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac which played a large part in the housing crisis. The Senate bill also cracks down on trading and derivatives by banks. Some critics think the bills go too far. This is going to get into everybody's pockets. And I'm not talking about businesses. I'm talking about individuals. The House and Senate bills must still be merged by a joint committee, and some parts of the measures are likely to be changed or dropped. The global financial crisis will be one of the topics on the agenda as Christians around the globe will gather in their churches and homes to seek God for their nations this Sunday. The annual Global Day of Prayer is held on Pentecost Sunday. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the event. Thousands will gather at the Newlands Rugby Stadium in Cape Town, South Africa, site of the first Global Day of Prayer. This year's prayer focus includes the HIV-AIDS epidemic, crime, corruption, government corruption, 
and the world economy. Mortgage rates are down again, falling to their lowest levels of the year. The average for a 30-year fixed mortgage is now 4.84 percent. Interest rates have fallen after the crisis in Europe, but the lower rates may come too late for many homeowners as a record number of homeowners are falling behind on their mortgage payments. Over 10 percent missed at least one payment between January and March. Gordon, it's just awful how so many people are in the midst of losing their homes in this age. That's true, George, and we had a record number uh, last month, a record number of homes in America going into foreclosure. Uh, I hope that the new interest rates, these lower interest rates, will enable more to be able to keep their homes, uh, be able to refinance and certainly stimulate uh, that and hopefully stimulate a market for buyers again. Um, you know, we, we need to have some, some real changes here. Well, millions of Americans have lost their homes in this recession and the Will Poston almost became one of them. He and his wife were about to lose everything until their daughter got a multi-million dollar idea. Will and Linda Poston were looking forward to a comfortable retirement. Will sold his heating and air conditioning business and Linda retired from her work as an interior decorator. I sold my business as I was going to be able to go, go sailing, we going to ride horses, which I love, and be able to have a lot of downtime. Those dreams all changed when Will learned the people who bought his business were suing him over 23 alleged violations of the sales contract. Suddenly, the Postons faced the possibility of losing everything they owned. We would definitely have to sell our home and use that as our, our retirement. For the next three years, Will fought to defend himself in court. His legal fees were $350,000. His daughter Andrea could tell he was struggling with this financial setback. I remember calling him you know, what's going on? He goes, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to pay the mortgage this month. It's, it's due tomorrow and I don't have the money. In the midst of this devastating situation, the Postons faced a difficult choice. Prior to their financial crisis, they were faithful and generous givers to their church and to CBN. When the finances get tight, that's when the enemy comes at you and says, but you can't afford to give. And so that was uh, what we, we just set in our minds that we were going to no matter what. Ultimately, the Postons won every count of the lawsuit, but their retirement money was gone. I told him up front, I said, Daddy, my prayer is that by the time you're 65, that you will be restored and you will have everything that you would have had. Andrea's prayer for her father was answered while on a family vacation. Andrea's son got sick on his bed at the resort, ruining the mattress. I just, it hit me. These people need mattress covers to protect their mattress, and I'm going to sell it to them. So I'm out there at the beach, and they come and say, hey, Dad, will you work with us on uh, starting a mattress protector company? So I thought about it a few seconds, and I said, uh, well, it probably wouldn't, won't last for two or three months, so uh, sure, I'll help you with it, you know? Those few months have turned into five years, and what started out as a plan to sell mattress covers to one resort has turned into a successful international business. Mattress Safe's annual sales exceed $3 million. And I feel very, very uh, confident that God has brought us back into a new realm of opportunity for business that we can then use that business to give as abundantly as He has, has so blessed us. Blessings that they want to pass along to others. The Postons began giving to CBN through their business at the founders level, and they continue to give from their personal income as well. We give because we want to see God's hand touching others. We give to CBN through the 700 Club. We know that if you give to God's work, then God will bless you. We give Him glory by giving to His, His works. Today we want to give you the keys to being blessable, the keys to what, what gets God's attention. Uh, you know, you, you, you look at some people, and uh, particularly people in the Bible, what about them? So attracted God to them. Well, today I want to talk about Abraham. Here's the father of the faith. And you, you look at his life and you go, what was so special? Here he was. He was living in, the, in Ur. It's a city in, in Sumeria. And he, he's, his father's an idol maker. And you wonder, well, what about that? What about that situation attracted God? 
Well, the interesting thing is God himself tells us why he liked Abraham. And you find it in Genesis 18, 19. Let me give you the circumstances here. God has just visited Abraham with two angels. Uh, Abraham is generous with them. He, he, he makes a full meal for them. They sit down and they have uh, a roasted calf together. And then as they're leaving, Abraham ex uh, escorts them all the way to a pass. He, he leaves his own home to make sure that his friends, his visitors, have a proper escort to where they're going. And then God says, well, am I going to do something and not tell Abraham about it? He's my friend. And then he says, for I have known him in order that he may command his children and his household after him. That that's important. That it's not just what he's doing, but he's making sure his whole household, he's commanding his children, he's commanding his household after him. Now keep in mind, this is before Isaac is born. This is before he has his promised child. And this is what God is saying. I know this man. I know what he's going to do. Now, this is what he's going to do, that his descendants after him will keep the way of the Lord to do righteousness and justice that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has spoken to him. This is what God's looking for. He's looking for people that the promise is not going to fall on bad ground. The promise is going to come to pass. And when he finds those people, he pours out his blessing on him. Now, let's take a look at the Hebrew behind the word righteousness. Sedeca. Now, we translate that in English, righteousness. That's a correct translation. But when you get into the rabbinic Hebrew, they also translate this word charity demonstrations of mercy. That is a different meaning. So what God is looking at and why he's so interested in Abraham is he sees how charitable Abraham is, how he gives, how he tithes, how he tithes to Melchizedek. And that's that same word, Sedeca, king of righteousness. It also can mean king of charity. That is the key. And that is why God blessed Abraham. I'm going to introduce you to another couple. And they got blessed as well. But before they got blessed, they ran into a lot of trouble. And when it came to money, Frank and Don Matthews only had one rule. If you want it, buy it. It's a rule they lived by until the economy fell and their business hit rock bottom. Frank and Don Matthews own a successful sod and seating company. They specialize in commercial jobs. They bid on contracts and often get them. But the Matthews admit when they first started seeing green, they were foolish about spending the money. Things that we wanted to do, we just went out and would do it. We were buying cars, we were taking trips. Eating out a lot. Just spending money like it was endless. But when the economy took a downturn, job contracts were scarce. We were beginning to get behind, some bills two months behind, some bills three months behind. The bills were coming in and stacking up and the money wasn't. I was paralyzed with fear. The Matthews used credit cards to get by. Soon they had $35,000 on plastic in addition to business bills they couldn't pay. Life started becoming very difficult. I was not sleeping, I was in fear, I was stressed, and I was really struggling with it, just getting out of bed every day, facing the job, facing work, I'm facing my family. Uh, I just felt like a failure. Frank prayed and asked God what was wrong. He says he felt God was telling him his priorities were out of line. I just knew that the Lord wanted me to repent. And I just said, God, I want to live for you. And I felt his spirit. And God restored my life that day. Frank prayed for guidance. At the same time, Don started watching the 700 Club. We always respected Pat and his wisdom. And he would teach about tithing. And I knew that was something that we should be doing and that we were out of God's will. 
They not only began tithing to CBN, they also cut up their credit cards. When we cut them cards, it was a celebration. It just felt so good, a feeling that I had not felt in a long time. And the Matthews started to see a change. Work started picking up. Checks were coming in that we didn't expect to come in. The phone was ringing. People were calling me on jobs that we quoted in the past and saying, hey, I've got this job for you come out and, and start immediately. Our life was starting to get exciting again. Dawn and Frank continued to tithe and decided to give over and above their tithe. Six months after they increased their giving to CBN, the Matthews landed their largest seating contract ever, nearly one and a half million dollars. We were so excited. We jumped up and down. Praise God, we got a chance at life again. And we were being obedient and God was blessing that and we just wanted to do more and more and more. The spring of 2009 was one of the best seasons for the Matthews. They had their credit cards paid off by the end of the year. If you're struggling with your life and your finances or, or, or just you just don't see a way out, I would just encourage you to become obedient to the Lord and start tithing. When we're obedient, He's going to bless us for that. What a wonderful story. Here Frank and Don were spending their money on themselves and overspending getting deep into credit card debt. And then uh, the economy fell. They, they find themselves uh, faced with losses. They can't pay their bills on time. They, they, they don't see a way out. They start to lose hope, start to lose hope even of life. And then Frank makes an important decision. He decides, I'm going to get on my knees and I'm going to pray and I'm going to get right with God. And then I'm going to start living my life the way he wants me to. And you heard it from Dawn, things changed. You know, as they became generous, they were able to become more generous. They started giving over and above. And then the blessings really started to pour into them. Well, that's the same story of a man named Cornelius. He's the first Gentile convert to the Christian church. And, and you look at, uh, you know, he's one of the first. And, and, and you look at his life and you go, how? Did God single him out? Why was he so special that Peter was literally sent on a, a mission because of a vision to go preach the gospel to him? You find it in Acts 10, verses 1 through 3. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of what was called the Italian regiment. Now, you look at him and you go, okay, wait, wait a minute, he's a Roman soldier, and not just any Roman. He, he's a real Roman. He's, he's not one of these uh, mercenaries. He's an Italian Roman. And if, and if you're a Jew, he, he's, he's the enemy. He, he's not a friend. But with God, he was. Why? Because he gave alms generously to the poor. That's what the Bible says. He gave God generously. He gave alms generously to the poor and prayed to God always. He feared God. And that is what got God's attention. And we know it because an angel came and appeared to him and said, your prayers and your alms have come up for a memorial before God. That's what happened with Frank and Dawn. It wasn't just his prayer. He then put it into action. And we've got to learn this lesson. Righteousness is an action. When you start acting righteously, then God pays attention because you're not just praying, you're doing and you're taking care of others. And Jesus says, whatever you, you do to the least of these, my brethren, you do unto me. So today resolve, I'm going to become generous. I want God to pay attention to, to my charity as well. I want to be a generous soul because that is the one that gets blessing. Well, over the past few years, many Americans have lost their jobs. Steve and Janice Zimmerman were among them. With six kids to feed, money was tight. Then Steve and Janice made a decision that defied logic and multiplied their money. Steve and Janice Zimmerman know from experience that when it comes to finances, life can turn on a dime. Our income went from, oh, possibly about 150000 down to maybe 40, 
Steve is an independent remodeling contractor and a board member of a local bank. In the summer of 2008, the bank eliminated dividend payments for board members, and the construction industry dried up as well. It's just like everything shut down, and the phone quit ringing, the jobs quit coming in. I didn't get calls from anything, so uh, we were hit really hard. In addition to tithing to their local church, the Zimmermans had also pledged $10,000 to CBN that year. But with six children, three of them in college, Steve didn't see how they could do it. I wanted to hunker down. That was my first impression, was to hunker down, to pull in, to turn off the lights, to uh, quit eating so much, whatever it took. But Janice knew they had to keep their word. I just say, Steve, we made a pledge for $10,000. We have to follow through with it. And I knew it was just a matter of time until he finally was able to relinquish it to the Lord and say, okay. Steve and Janice knew the family would have to make sacrifices in many areas. Our spending changed dramatically. I started clipping even more coupons. I'd look for all the sales and shop for the sales, for the food and, and uh, clothing, everything. Eventually, Steve got on board with Janice. So I just sort of abandoned everything at that point and said, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just, let's just give where we said we were gonna give and see where God's gonna make up the difference. Then in early 2009, Steve got a call from Terry, his former business partner. 20 years ago, we had worked together for, for several years. So he called me up and said, Steve, I don't have any employees anymore. Uh, things have really changed, but I need help. I've got jobs, let's work together again. Within weeks, Steve and Terry were back in business together. The phone started ringing again, and they were not just little jobs, they were big jobs, and they were with great people, and they're still flowing in. The Zimmerman's experience reinforced what Janice believed about God's faithfulness. I knew he would always come through. I did not have any doubt. We wanted to increase our faith, to believe for even more miracles in our lives. And it's helped Steve to look at giving a little differently too. That's been a faith boost for me to uh, not be uh, in the hunker down mode and to say God's bigger and to not just say it, but then to trust that it can come out of nothing. He creates out of nothing so he can bring finances out of nothing. One of the principles of the universe, God creates out of nothing and he responds to us trusting him to do that. Here it is from Luke chapter six, verse 38. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Now, they learned the secret. They knew the secret, how to get God's attention, how to, how to have things come before Him. You know, they stayed faithful in their giving. They were generous in their giving, even though they were wondering, how can we do this? They decided to give. And what we're asking you to do is decide to do that. And you can do it right now. All you have to do is call us, 1-800-759-0700 and just say, yes, I want to start giving. I want to start being generous. I want to start a lifetime of giving generously. How much are we asking for? $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We're asking you to join the 700 Club and join in everything we're doing around the world. When you join, you join with tens of thousands of other people that want to make a difference, that want to be generous, want to change the world. You can do that by joining with us. Now, to challenge you to give for the rest of the hour, we've got some existing CBN partners that say, we like giving so much, we like giving to CBN so much that we want to challenge others to give. And they'll match you dollar for dollar up to $100,000. Yes. Now, we pray. Mm -hmm. Lord, we just ask for blessing on this challenge and ask for your provision for it, that you would double it, that you would triple it, and Lord, for those who are, are making decisions right now and responding, Lord, we just ask that you would speak to them and comfort them and bless them, for we ask it in Jesus' name, amen.
You heard it, $100,000. We've got 33 minutes, 34 seconds to go to make it. And we need to hear from you. So go to the phone and call us, 1-800-759-0700. Or you can log on to CBN.com. When you give through the Internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express, electronic monthly giving. Uh, there's no stamps and no checks. And we save so much, we're able to give as our gift back to you, Power for Life, monthly teaching CD. So if you want it, sign up for Pledge Express. Let's go over to Christy at the phones and see what's happening. Christy? I have something really, really exciting and really, really good. I don't know about you, but do you sometimes in life feel discouraged, even frustrated mentally, financially, even spiritually? Well, listen, we have the answer for you, and it's in this. It's called The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2. Pat put it together, key principles in the Bible, and I tell you, they're going to change your life. Take a look. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to achieve success so readily? How they can gain the confidence of others and prosper? Why do some people get along so well? Aw, oh, thanks, Matt. Why are they able to pull together instead of apart? And how is it that others soar above obstacles and hardships to find true meaning and joy? The answer to these questions and how to live a victorious life are found in the secret laws of God's kingdom. In The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2, you'll discover the laws of perseverance, responsibility, greatness, and unity, powerful principles that can change your life. As you follow the laws of the secret kingdom and make them a part of your life, the results will be nothing short of incredible. Get The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2, available now. I'm ready for the incredible to happen in my life, aren't you? Well, you will. Listen, when you become a 700 Club partner, and we bless you with this, the Secret Kingdom Volume 2. Remember, we are in the middle of a challenge. We've got 31 uh, seconds or minutes, I don't know, left in this $100,000 challenge. We All you have to do is just call 1-800-759-0700. You can always log on to CBN.com. You see those great people. Those are the counselors. They're waiting for you. They need you. And listen, I know when it comes to the finances, sometimes it's easy for us to kind of hold on and, and just hope that someone else is going to give. But listen, this is the opportunity for you to open up your hand and give because when you do, I promise you, you're going to be blessed. So let this be a day that not only that you become blessed, but you can bless the nations. Terry? Well, Christy, I'd like to show you all why your gifts are important. I want to show you how your gifts helped a young mother in China. When Sai Yun found out she was pregnant, she was overjoyed, but she was also very afraid, and you're about to see why. The closer Sai Yun got to her baby's due date, the more worried she became. I was afraid that my baby would be born with a cleft lip, like I was. I have heard that they can be passed down in the genes. Sai Yun has since had surgery, but she remembers the years of pain her cleft lip and palate caused her. People used it to always stare at me. All the criticism and the looks made me feel queasy inside. So she decided to do everything she could to prevent the same thing from happening to her child. I put all my faith into Kuan Yin. I prayed to this idol and asked that she would keep my baby from having a cleft lip. But Sai Yun's baby was born with a cleft lip, and she and her husband Jin couldn't afford surgery. Jin Hu works in construction and makes very little money. Still, he was willing to do anything to help Xu Ran. I told my friends that I would sell all my possessions in hopes that we could get surgery for our baby girl. As hard as the couple tried, they couldn't sell or save enough. It looked like Xu Ran would be ridiculed for life. I felt so guilty about my baby and her cleft lip. Then a friend told the Who's about CBN, and CBN provided free surgery for Xu Ran. I could not have been any happier. The moment my baby came out of surgery, I couldn't help but cry because my baby's cleft lip had been fixed and she looked much, much better than ever. I'm so grateful to CBN for how boundless your love is. It inspires people to help the poor. I want to thank you. When I look back, I realize that idol worship did not do me any good. It is not real, but Sabian's help is. 
What a difference you have made in my daughter's life. Boundless love crossing the oceans of the world to touch the life of a little girl, of her family, of her village, as they see God's love in action through you. That's why we're asking you to join the 700 Club so that we can continue to reach out to people all around the world. Did you hear that dad say, I would have sold everything I had, but it still wasn't enough. And yet when you and I join hands together, we can make it be enough to touch thousands and thousands of lives. Will you go to your phone right now and join the 700 Club? It's 65 cents a day, $20 a month. Let me show you our club levels. If you're already a 700 Club member, today would be a great day to consider going up to 700 Club Gold. That's a gift of $40 or more a month. Our 1,000 Club member level is $84 a month. The 2,500 Club is $209 a month. Our founders join us at $417 a month. We even have a group called the Chairman's Circle. They give gifts of $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he'd have you do, and then step out boldly knowing that you can touch and change the world. Gordon? Well, Tony and Nancy Morehouse were in big financial trouble. They had no job, no income and no idea how they're going to pay the bills. Tony Morehouse owns a kitchen remodeling business that brings in more than enough to provide for his family. He believes God has blessed his business because he is a faithful tither, although when he first learned of the concept, it was hard to do. 10% is, that's a lot of money. I said, there's no way when you're coming from a kid growing up, when your parents would put $5 a week in the plate, that's what you, I thought you were supposed to do. But years ago, his faith in tithing was tested. The distributor for his company went bankrupt, and he had thousands in deposits with no way to fill the orders. And his boss told him to keep taking deposits. Tony couldn't do it and quit. I remember coming home and telling Nancy that I didn't know what was going to happen next. I mean, all of a sudden, you, you go from having expense accounts, uh, good income, to nothing. Tony admits stopping their giving seemed like the logical thing to do. That's something that has no formal signed obligation to. It's just your word against God, so that's the first thing that you want to think about cutting. Nancy said, no way. But now that we had learned that giving to God and the blessings that could come from that were just outweighed the the scariness of watching the checking account go down and, and figuring out how we're going to pay the mortgage um, just never was an issue. Nancy helped Tony call every client and explain what had happened, and together devised a plan. Tony had just gotten a job with a competitor, and he prayed that the new company would help him fulfill his back orders. The new boss was thrilled that he came on board with $200,000 in deposits, and they were happy to fill the orders. But during the months Tony was trying to clean up this mess, Nancy was getting a message, give more. I felt like every time I turned around, it was like somebody, Gordon or Terry or one of the, one of the hosts or, or the story was, you've got to do this, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. Or the good soil represents those who hear and accept God's message and produce a huge harvest. And I remember Nancy coming to me and said, you know, I think we need to, increase our pledge to CBN. <laughs> and <laughs> I looked at her, I thought that you've gone off the deep end. I said, there's no way. And that she said that I think we need to, to become chairman circle members. By now, Tony had fulfilled his back orders and felt God was telling him to open his own business with a showroom. The pieces fell right into place. Today, the Morehouses have two showrooms and their kitchen renovation business brings in a million and a half in sales yearly. They feel strongly that God has blessed them so much because they have stood firm on listening and obeying in all areas of their lives, including their finances. You just can't be afraid. You just got to just step out and leave for faith and put, your, put all your trust in Him. Put your trust in Him. Tony and Nancy learn the secret. Put your trust in Him. Here's what Jesus had to say about it. It's from Matthew 6. So don't worry about having enough food or drink or clothing. Your heavenly Father already knows all your needs, and he will give you all you need from day to day if you live for him. 
and make the kingdom of God your primary concern. How do you demonstrate that? Well, you demonstrate that through giving. You know, righteousness is an action. You start understanding that charity is, is linked directly to it. That's what gets God's attention. And if you want his attention, and we all do in these economic times, if you want them, uh, start a life of giving. Uh, do exactly what Tony and Nancy did and call us, 1-800-759-0700, and just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club. How much is it? $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you say, I can give more than that. I can give it 700 Club gold. That's $40 or more a month. 1,000 Club is $84 or more a month. 2,500 Club is uh, $209 a month. Founders is $5,000 a year. And then if you want to make a significant gift, 10,000 or more a year, become part of Chairman's Circle. At whatever level, God is speaking to you to give. Do it now. 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, Fan loves going to school and playing with her friends. But not long ago, this young Vietnamese girl had no place to live and no one to take care of her. There was only one thing that Fan wanted in life, to have a family. Her challenges began when she was only one. Her mother abandoned her, and her father raised her until he died in a motorcycle accident. Fawn was only eight at the time. She went to live with an uncle for a while, but he was too poor to keep her, and she had to drop out of school. I knew that I was an orphan and wondered who would take care of me. So Fawn came to live here, at this home for children sponsored by CBN's Orphan's Promise. I was actually looking forward to coming here. I was not scared. The other kids helped me feel at home right away. And that has made all the difference for Fawn. With her new brothers and sisters and new house parents, she feels like part of a family. It's beautiful here. I have found my home and my family at last. Fawn is back in school, she's eating three meals a day, and shares a beautiful bedroom with her new friends. A room decorated thanks to another special gift from CBN's Orphan's Promise. Thank you to the people who helped make this happen. Thank you, CBN. And the Bible says that God puts the lonely in families, and isn't it an amazing thing that He allows you and I to be a part of that privileged process? You took a little girl who had nowhere to belong, nobody who cared for her, put her in a safe place, gave her hope and the future, helped her know the love of God. That's just some of what you do when you join the 700 Club. That's why we're asking you right now to go to your phone and call. Become a part of this amazing opportunity to reach out to the whole world with the love of Christ. It is something that you need to do, we need to do. Let's link arms together and make it really matter for Jesus. Go to your phone and call right now. It's 1-800-759-0700. You can also join us by logging onto cbn.com. When you call, will you please say, I want to do it through Pledge Express? It's electronic monthly giving. It saves us all kinds of paperwork and hassle. It does you too. You don't need to worry about envelopes, remembering, stamps, any of that. The bank does all the work. You can stop at any time you want to, but it also saves some administrative costs for us that allow us to put even more of your gift right into the lives of children like Fawn. So call right now, join the 700 Club, say I want to do it through Pledge Express. Our way of saying thank you is to send you Power for Life teachings each month. You'll love these. They'll help you grow in your faith and they'll be a blessing to you. So call right now. Gordon? Well, America's unemployment rate is at a five-year high and one North Carolina community has been hit especially hard. A recent factory closing there has left hundreds of people out of work, out of money, and out of hope. The plants closed, people that have had jobs for many, many, many years and don't know anything else. They don't have anything else to go to. Bonnie Bacold and her family are in a financial bind. Her husband lost his job when furniture manufacturers in North Carolina closed their plants. He and coworkers like Vicki Price were left with no income. I got laid off, and then a few months after I got laid off, my husband got laid off. Um, and with everything going up as far as gas, groceries, I mean, it just, it took, it was taking everything we had. If you're not a nurse or a machinist, you're looking for a job, hopefully competing with 200 other people that want that job at McDonald's that just opened up. 
Through the Christian Outreach Church in Morganton, North Carolina, Operation Blessing is helping out. The center provides bags of free groceries, which is a godsend to families like Anita Craig's. It saves us, say, $100 on groceries a week to where we can put it towards the power bill, towards the lots, towards our water bill, and towards the other needs that our family has. Pastor Holly Johnson is director of this outreach center, which serves between 600 and 1,500 families every week. They were doing okay, and suddenly they found themselves without a job, without an education, no indus industry in our area to fall back on. Suddenly, they had to ask for help, and it was something they'd never had to do, so they were devastated. We see people carpooling. We'll see three or four families riding in the same car trying you know, to make ends meet. The biggest need in this uncertain economy is food. We could not feed the people every week if it wasn't for the support of Operation Blessing. We get probably as much as 50 to 60 percent of our food supply comes directly from Operation Blessing. In addition to giving families food, Holly's team prays for those who come in. The desire of my heart is that every person who comes to this place would find hope. I had a single mom to come through, and she just began to weep. She said, you know, my husband just died. He had no insurance. I've never asked for help before. And she said, I came tonight, and she said, you've prayed for me, you've given me hope. And she said, I'm gonna make it. I know with God's help, I'm gonna make it. If you wanna be part of bringing hope to people, uh, we're not just doing it overseas, not just in China. We're also doing it right here at home. And when you start thinking of three million Americans, every month are getting food from Operation Blessing, that 100 million pounds of food are going to be distributed here in America. Uh, we partner with local churches, local food storehouses, local charities to make sure food goes to people in need, uh, people that have got a lot more month than they've got money, and that's happening in communities across America. If you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is join the 700 Club. Call us, 1-800-759-0700. We're in the middle of a $100,000 challenge, and if we get the red number up, we've got a ways to go. We're 42,000 away from making a goal on this one. We want to go way over the top. So go to the phone now. If you want to help people in need here in America, go to the phone, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go over to Wendy to see what's happening. Wendy? All right, thanks, Gordon. Well, when you join the 700 Club right now, we have an awesome gift for you. It's Pat's latest teaching called The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2. Now, in here, you'll learn about the law of greatness, the law of responsibility, the law of unity, and the law of perseverance. If you put these laws into practice, they will change your life. That's what happened to one man. Take a look. I'm Gary Haven, founder and CEO of Curves. I was fortunate to have uh, read The Secret Kingdom before we founded Curves. Pat taught me that there were, there were kingdom laws that were as valid as the laws of gravity. I was really excited to hear that Pat had uh, put the principles on a series of DVDs. I'm Pat Robertson. In volume two of the DVDs on The Secret Kingdom, I'll teach you the secrets of greatness responsibility, unity, and perseverance. The principles of the secret kingdom worked in Gary's life, and they can bring you success as well. The secret kingdom played a big part in the success of Curves. And this year, that company, along with all the franchisees, uh, is a $2 billion a year company. And uh, that's a miracle. It is a miracle. And you know, God is no respecter of persons. If it worked for Gary Haven, they will work for you as well. We want you to have the Secret Kingdom Volume 2. It's our gift to you. When you call right now and join the 700 Club, 1-800-759-0700 is the number to call. Or you can log on to CBN.com. It's a great way to give. We are in the middle of a $100,000 challenge. That means that every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. We need you to go to the phones right now and help us. Gordon? Well, Joanne Keith was out of work, behind on her bills, and $20,000 in debt. Joanne was down to her last $7, and here's how she used it to get back in the black. When Joanne Keith's employer downsized a few years ago, she lost her job and was unable to pay the mortgage on her new home. She was also carrying $20,000 in credit card debt. 
I thought I was doing everything that I was supposed to do as a Christian, yeah. but uh, there were some areas in my life that God really had to show to me that was displeasing to Him. One of those areas was Joanne's finances. She'd been reluctant to fully tithe 10% of her income. She was afraid there wouldn't be enough money to pay all the bills. But at the end of the month, she was still struggling to make ends meet. I had always had great salaries, but I never could get ahead. For some reason, I always, something would break, or I got, I got behind in a, a, a payment, but I never could really um, just have a great savings. For weeks, she interviewed for dozens of jobs. She was nearing the end of her severance pay when a friend told her about the biblical principles of giving. Joanne decided that her checkbook, with a sobering balance of $7, was telling her that something had to change. Because I had no choice. Because I knew that if I didn't, things weren't going to change and that I might lose my house. So Joanne wrote a check to her church, giving away her last $7. Finally, when I decided to, to surrender everything to God, I knew He was going to be responsible for the consequences. He was going to take care of me, and He did. In two weeks, I had a job with a major pharmaceutical company. Joanne was still facing a $20,000 credit card debt, but she found that by obeying God's financial principles and tithing 10% of her income, she was able to pay off that debt in a short amount of time. In addition, she became a CBN partner and because she was receiving bonuses at work, Joanne began to tackle her mortgage. It seemed like the more that I gave, the bigger the bonuses came. I, I'm not good in math. I'm not good in accounting. Uh, but when you trust God with your finances, He works it all out. And because of that, I was able to pay off my house in two years. And that's such a blessing. And I know a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people are suffering right now with with gas prices the way they are, and people are really hurting. And the message that, that I would love to share is that you don't have to do this by yourself. You've got help, and God is there to help. He will be with you. He will help you. Even in times of fam famine, He knows how to provide for His people. Now, if I can get a drum roll, I've got some exciting news. Some partners from Georgia are saying a $100,000 challenge is not enough. They want to increase it $50,000, right. taking it to $150,000, and we don't get any more time, so we need to pray. Lord, we ask for blessing on this, and again, we just ask for multiplication. And Lord, for those who are watching, making decisions about whether to give, just speak to them, comfort them. Let them know that you are going to provide, you're going to take care of them. Be with them now, for we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. You heard it, $150,000, 10 minutes to go. If we can get the red number up, we'll show you. We got 61,000 to go to make 150,000 on this challenge. So go to the phone, we need to hear from you, 1-800-759-0700. Um, just realize, give and it will be given unto you. These are the words of Jesus Christ. Give and it will be given unto you. So call us, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, today Esther is a healthy 11-year-old who likes to help out around the house. But not long ago, she was bedridden and about to die. When Esther was a year old, she was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia, a disease which has no cure. She suffered with chronic joint pain for all of her 11 years. So while other children played and went to school, Esther was bedridden. Her mother, Fun Mi, feared she would soon face another terrible loss. Her father died one year after her birth, and I was afraid that I would lose Esther due to her sickness. The only income the family had came from selling vegetables and firewood, but it was never enough to pay for Esther's medical bills. Tribal healers couldn't help, and doctors said Esther would certainly die. Then a local evangelist invited them to a gathering where CBN programs would be shown. We watched a story about a woman who was sick, and a doctor confirmed that she was going to die. But God healed her, and she was delivered. Then Pat Robertson prayed for people's needs. When he started praying, I felt joy inside of me. I couldn't explain it. I started gaining strength and called to my mom. 
she came over, examined me, and we all started to shout hallelujah. I am grateful for the miracle he has done in my life. A doctor familiar with the case confirmed that Esther no longer has sickle cell anemia and that her blood cells are completely normal. When I first ran the test on her at nine months old, it revealed that she had sickle cell. But these new tests reveal that she no longer has the disease. She is completely healed. God has done a miracle. Esther and Fun Mi gave their lives to Christ and told everyone about Esther's miracle. Because of the miracle, I gave my heart to Christ too. Now I will serve Him with all my life. Today, Esther is a happy and healthy girl who does her chores and helps her mother out on the farm. Operation Blessing gave the family everything they needed to open a convenience store to earn extra money. And with a scholarship from Operation Blessing, Esther will be able to go back to school. Through your program, my life has really changed. Thank you, CBN. It's a miracle, an absolute miracle, and you are a part of that if you're a 700 Club member. It's an amazing thing that God invites us to join Him in what He's doing in the lives of people all around the globe. Don't miss out on that. It's an amazing opportunity to make a difference, and you can be a part of it by going to your phone right now and joining the 700 Club. We're in a challenge, so we really need you to help, and it means that when you call, every dollar you give is matched. There you go, 1-800-759-0700. You can also log on to CBN.com. When you do join through Pledge Express, it means your bank does the work, but it saves us a lot of money. We need to hear from you right now. Gordon. All right, let's get the red number up because we're going to take it down. 45000 left to go in a $150,000 challenge. And from Mansfield, Texas, a founder saying, we, I'm giving $5,000. And it's uh, through Pledge Express. So Great. that's... Uh, another way to give. Uh, if you want to give through Pledge Express, just ask for it. It's automatic monthly giving. Uh, we save so much on the processing we're able to send as our gift back to you. Monthly teaching CDs called Power for Life. So if you want that, ask specifically for Pledge Express. Well, with four children and a salary of just a dollar a day, Soon Bay had trouble supporting his family. Feeding them was hard enough. Sending them to school was out of the question. If you need a ride in this Cambodian town, you might hail Soon Bay's taxi service. It won't cost a lot, but it may just take you a little while to get where you're going. It is very hard work, and I don't earn much money. And making money has been a problem for Soon Bay and his family. After he pays the rent on his bicycle taxi, he only earns about a dollar a day. His wife makes less as a hired farmhand, it's just not enough to provide for the couple's four young children. I worry about my children, whether they will ever go to school or if we can give them enough food. Working with the local church, Operation Blessing provided the family with some help. First, we gave their eight-year-old Vaishray the school fees, supplies, and clothes she needed to start the first grade. Next, we gave the family a grant to start a small grocery business near their home. Now mom can stay home with the kids. Finally, Operation Blessing gave them a cow. Now each day they have fresh milk to drink and more to sell. And that means there's food on the table for everyone. Thank you, Operation Blessing, for the business and the cow. We now have hope for the future. I am so thankful. Thanks for this organization that helped my family. And thank you. If you're a part of the 700 Club, you're part of that. You're part of that blessing. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing uh, to help people around the world, not just here in America, but around the world. Another portion goes into CBN World Reach to preach the gospel around the world where we train local Christians how to do Christian television. So the programs are all done in their heart language, done by people that look and act like them, and done with stories about what Jesus is doing in their land. Uh, in their nation today, not some far off time, but today. And you can be a part of it when you join the 700 Club. So if you want to do that, call us, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Christy. Hey, Gordon, I was just thinking about the Lord and how God is so cool. You know, it's so easy for us to look at the news and get so discouraged by that. But nothing, literally nothing surprises God. He already has the answers. In fact, Many of those answers to finances and for us to be encouraged with our family and just life, a lot of those answers are in this, The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2. Pat put this together to help you and your family just come up to that next place. Take a look. 
You and I live in a visible world, yet there is at work all around us an invisible kingdom of unlimited goodness and power. In the Bible, Jesus Christ has given us fundamental kingdom principles that are as valid in our world today as the law of gravity. These principles can overcome every obstacle or circumstance we encounter and guarantee our success. In this latest DVD, The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2, Pat Robertson reveals how the power of God's kingdom works and unlocks the secrets of greatness, responsibility, perseverance, and unity, principles that will change your life. You can reach from a world of impossibilities into a realm of limitless possibility and power. The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2, available now. Isn't it exciting to know that we can get this in your hands when you call to become a 700 Club partner? We need you. We've got two minutes left, so please call in. Gordon? Well, through an outreach called Orphan's Promise, CBN is helping abandoned children all over the world. Right now, I want to take you to Vietnam to meet one of them, a little girl named Min. By the time Min reached her 13th birthday, she lost her mom to brain cancer. When mother died, it hurt so much. After the death of her mother, Min's father turned to alcohol and sometimes became violent towards his young daughter. He was always drunk, always angry. During one especially bad outburst, Min's father nearly destroyed their home. Min's father realized in one of his sober moments that he was hurting his daughter. So he brought her to live here at this children's home sponsored by CBN's Orphan's Promise. Here, Min eats three nutritious meals a day, is making new friends, and is excelling in school. I love literature. Maybe I will be a teacher in the future and Min's new house mother at the CBN-sponsored home is providing her with all the love she needs to move on with her life. Thank you, CBN. I am no longer afraid. I feel safe here. Isn't that wonderful, taking care of children? I no longer feel afraid. I feel safe. You're a part of it when you join with us. So if, if you want to do it, now's the time to call. We've got a, less than a minute left in a $150,000 challenge. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Find good drum rolls, we got some great news. Newport Ritchie, Florida. A 700 Club Gold member saying, I'm going to founder this year. I'm going to $5,000. And here, Neptune Beach, Florida. We're hearing from Th uh, Florida. 1,000 Club members saying, I want to go to Founder Plus. Okay. I'm going to $6,060. Awesome. And they're doing it through Pledge Express, that automatic monthly giving. So Fabulous. when you call, ask for that. We're counting down to victory. We've got one second left. Uh, we're still going to count everything on the phones against this tremendous challenge. 1-800-759-0700. You have given against 150000 172000 Praise God. We'll leave you these words from Psalm 41. Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. God bless you. We'll see you again. You and I live in a visible world, yet there is at work all around us an invisible kingdom of unlimited goodness and power. In the Bible, Jesus Christ has given us fundamental kingdom principles that are as valid in our world today as the law of gravity. These principles can overcome every obstacle or circumstance we encounter and guarantee our success. In this latest DVD, The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2, Pat Robertson reveals how the power of God's kingdom works and unlocks the secrets of greatness, responsibility, perseverance, and unity principles that will change your life. You can reach from a world of impossibilities into a realm of limitless possibility and power. The Secret Kingdom, Volume 2, available now.